Now we're going to talk about ISO shutter aperture, things you need to know to be a great photographer or a video person if, or a videographer. Really, it's really about just what you're into. Just got done with my workout. Woo, that flipping sucked. But let's talk about some camera basics. All right, so this is all the gear that I actually use. Wait, so the first thing I really love is this prism, right? You get some really fire reflections out of it, like it's kind of doing right there. And then you also got the sphere, which is really sick. If you want to go to my Instagram at Crazy Mike's Life, I have a really dope ass photo that I took of this, basically. You know what I mean? <laughs> Next is my Zion Crane. I use it for all my smooth B roll shots, that kind of thing. use my D500 for basically everything in the last video when I did a concert photo shoot. Always want to use backup batteries every time you shoot because you never know if you like charged them fully or that's just how I am. One of these batteries is like I charge it and it just doesn't like it just a couple of shoots and it's done like what the hell. So and there's already one in the chamber of like four batteries that's a little excessive. Uh, obviously you need your backup chargers and that kind of thing. Um, and also you got this bad boy to so you, every time you want to travel or whatever, you can just pack this up in here. Super dope. And then I have my ND filters. Hashtag no filter. <laughs> uh, but it is really a filter. All right, so if it's really sunny outside, these are really great to use for an ND filter. Like, look at the difference, right? Okay. Ready? This is great for bright light. So ND filter. No ND filter. So ND means neutral density. I, I really love these, by the way. They're so dope. Anyway, let's get on to the lighting. The lighting's super important. Also use this bad boy. Oh so, yeah, let's uh, get on to this light really quick. So I love using it for my night photo shoots or um, long exposures, which is what I use for this tripod right here. Uh, just slide in there. There you go, buddy. That's what you gotta do. Just slide it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. <laughs> Here, get that reference. That's from an Adam Sandler movie. Neutral density style. Ooh, that's dope. <laughs> Try to get a dope reflection. That's where you go. All right, so anyways, this is like the cool blue setting, right? So if you look on the back, it has 5500K, then 3200K, which meaning it just kind of sets the mood for what photo shoot you want. All right, now we're going to talk about ISO shutter aperture, things you need to know to be a great photographer or a video person if, or a videographer. Really, it's really about just what you're into. So the 60 frames is when you want to shoot something slow-mo or do like Pete McKinnon where he shoots that really cool smooth buttery b-roll and then he cuts it back to like the 24 frames per second right here in post, right? White balance, it just depends when you're shooting. If you're outside or you're doing a concert photo shoot, you can leave it on auto. You can do all these things in your uh, camera settings. It's all just camera settings. You can just pick pick and choose kind of what you feel, what kind of mood you want for the photo. Or suckers. <laughs> um, all right, so sweet. So let's cut back to camera. All right. So this is what you call your shutter speed, right? I'm at 400th of a second, which means it's gonna be really fast. Like you want to, like it's mainly for like Sports Illustrated type stuff, or you want to capture somebody moving. Like listen to this. That sounded like a machine gun, bro. Huge difference. All right, let's just do. Yeah, it's fine. Like a fifth of a second. So watch. Basically, all shutter is is just how fast or slow you want it to open or close. How like how wide the aperture is open. Like that's like fully wide open. It's gonna basically let a ton of light in and have the, an image be really overexposed on the f-stop. Okay, let's do like, I don't know, 12, 13, fine, whatever. <laughs> um, now if I can get a really good angle here, do you see how 
really closed off that is. So it's basically, whatever you're shooting, like the image is gonna be a little bit more sharp. Or you want your image to be underexposed or a little bit overexposed. That's kind of what ISO does, right? So if you ever seen The Matrix, when they, uh, when they, okay, so I thought it was really cool. So obviously they're not doing like, when they're, Neo and Smith were both like, so they were both like this, right? Holding the guns at each other, like do, 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 do like that, and whatever. They're on like a rope line, or they were like kind of somehow stabilized to get that shot. Like, I don't know, and then the camera was like on a huge rig or something. Uh, I was like, oh, that's crazy, bro. That shit is wild. <laughs> For a videographer, filmmaker like me, uh, this is just stuff I'm into, which is cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is my job, this is like my business, uh, which I have, if you want to check it out. My website is crazymikeproductions.com. If you want to check that out, uh, my Instagram is at crazymikeslife. Don't worry too much, just go out and have fun and be creative. And the last thing that I want to say is uh, don't put too much pressure on yourself because that's what I do a lot of the time. I'm like, oh man, okay, I have these clients and uh, woo, it's like, <laughs> I was like, whoo! <laughs> Uh, I do put pressure on myself, like a lot, like, oh man, I gotta get these really good shots, I don't wanna mess this up, uh, there's like so much random stress that I don't need that I put on myself. Nah, just, like I said, have fun, um, create some cool stuff, if you get some bad shots, who, who cares, but if you do get some really good shots, then cool, you can edit, then that's awesome, if you do get some really cool shots, then that's awesome, and then you can just edit them, um, whatever program you decide to use, like, and then once you do edit them, be like, ooh, these are fire! And do a whole reaction like Hayden Pedersen, and it's like all his friends like, ooh, this shit's dope! <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that's all I want to say. Crazy, don't overdo it, don't break your bank. Um, do stuff that's more practical, like, you know what I mean? Consider subscribing, follow all of my social medias, all the link, everything will be in the description. And hit that notification bell, and uh, like, like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Wow.